Walking on eggshells is awful. Few things are worse than feeling like you can't be yourself or say what you really wanna say around someone else for fear of being left out, not liked, or dare I say, canceled. That fear follows me everywhere I go because I feel those eggshells, not just around one person, but around our culture as a whole. It's frustrating and exhausting. Living in constant fear does that, and it's nothing new. In 1 Kings, the nation of Israel was walking on eggshells too. They had a king who was encouraging his people to worship a false god named Baal. And a lot of people were going along with this idea. And boom, the next thing you know, most of Israel ends up adapting customs and beliefs that took them far away from God. So he responds by sending the prophet Elijah with these words. How long will you waver between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal is God, follow him. But the people said nothing. Elijah is basically telling Israel they need to choose, either follow God or follow a false one. But instead, they don't. They say nothing because of fear. That would be like you and I seeing the edge of a cliff ahead, but not telling the driver to slow down because we didn't want to hurt their feelings. And before you laugh at that metaphor, realize we do this all the time. We're more scared of the consequences of not being liked than we are for a person who may need to hear they're in danger of hurting themselves because of their decisions and actions. So what happens with Elijah, Baal, and Israel? Because of Elijah's faith, eventually Baal and his worshipers are totally defeated. One act of faith caused God to display his power, holiness, and his grace to an entire nation. And this biblical account is incredibly relevant to us today. Sometimes the best thing to do is to remain silent, but sometimes our faith and the love we have for others can call us to speak out so God's power, His holiness, and His all-encompassing grace can be seen and heard by many.